Okay, now we're going to do some if statements, or if functions you might call them. Now if functions are particularly handy if you need to redo a calculation. So if you need to um, say in this instance here, in this exercise, is the if function salesperson's exercise. So we've got salespeople here with the totals of sales. What they sell, it matters not. So you've got Frank Jr. here, all the way up to he's got 368. Now the problem with this is what we want to do is make sure that if they hit their bonus, if they hit their um, target, sorry, of 400, then they will receive a bonus, and that bonus will be 5% of their total. So we're going to be quite generous there. So how do we do that? Well the first thing we're going to do is just click here and uh, in I1 I'm going to type in bonus and then press enter. Right, so excellent. Now we've got 368 here uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our if statement in I2. So make sure we've got I2 selected and then we're going to click on the FX button for insert function. If you haven't seen this before, this insert function dialog box will allow you to search for the 600 plus functions that come within Excel. At the moment it says type a brief description of what you want to do and then click go. You're ready to type what you want. So if I type in if, and I'll either press enter or click on go, what it will do is below hand, it will uh, below here, it will tell you all the functions that uh, match your search criteria. So here we go, I've got if, so make sure if selected, then click on OK and it will give up the uh, function arguments box. I'm just going to move that down a little bit. So, the function arguments box, basically the logical test is the condition. So is it great? So the, our condition in this case is if, in this case it's H2, which is the sales for Frank Jr., is greater than, okay, or equal to. So if you notice that I've done the greater than symbol, you can access that symbol by holding down the shift key on the keyboard and pressing full stop. And after that, do the equal sign. So the greater than or equals symbol uh, is greater than or equal to, and what's the bonus? We said 400. So I'm going to type in 400. So it's asking the question, is H2 greater than or equal to 400? In this case, it's not. So we're going to say false in there. So we're going to say false. So the value if true, if it was true, he would get his 5% bonus. So the 5% bonus would be H2 multiplied by 0 0.05. So using the 5% as a decimal, basically. So 1 is 100, 0.1 is 10, 0 0.05 is 5. So there we go. We can see here he'll get his 18 Point four. So if it's selling ice creams, which has been the, uh, a previous exercise, it'll be you'll get an 18.4 ice cream cone bonus. Uh, if he's being generous, it could be an 18,000 uh, and nearly 8,500 pound bonus. What happens if he doesn't reach his bonus? Well, he gets a big fat zero. So you can see there that I've typed the zero in the value of false, and the form result can be seen at the bottom as zero. So I can click on OK, and there we go. The formula is zero. What I can do is if I go down to Autofill and click, and this time I'm going to drag the Autofill down, so I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom, uh, because other, there's nobody called Totals. That's just obviously Totals, and they will always hit their bonus. So in this case here, you can see that two people, Jesse Jackson and Joshua Fortescue, they both reached their bonus, and now one of them gets 20, one of them gets 20. Point four three. So there you go, there's a bit more information on if statements. If you want to know more, please see www.computertutoring.co.uk.